Certain fundamental skills are the foundation upon which winning basketball teams are built. Practice and drill on each skill help win ball games. Accurate passing, shooting, and dribbling begin with the proper position of the hands on the ball. The fingers are well spread but comfortable, and the ball does not rest on the palms of the hands. Dribbling is one way the ball may be moved across the court. To avoid losing the ball, it is dribbled low and as close to the body as possible. The player is in a crouched position. His head is up with his eyes looking ahead. Here in slow motion, we see how the ball is handled. Using the fingers and wrist, the ball is pushed to the floor. It is not slapped. Successful passing requires speed, accuracy, and confident ball handling, which comes from constant practice. In the two-handed push pass, the ball is held chest high and delivered with a straightforward pushing movement. The ball is released with a strong finger and wrist snap, with the palms of the hands facing the flight of the ball. Good follow-through of the hands and arms is important. The two-handed bounce pass is also started from the chest. But the ball is pushed to the floor as near the opponent's feet as possible. The eye should be looking straight ahead and not down at the floor. Another effective pass is the one-handed bounce pass. The ball is carried to passing position with two hands and released with one. The short baseball pass is very good for getting the ball to the pivot man. The ball is brought up with two hands and released with one. Notice the strong finger and wrist snap. The long baseball pass for distance is given power by bringing the ball farther back past the shoulder and throwing it with a strong whip of the arm. The hook pass can be used to feed an open man when the defensive player guards closely. This pass is made by jumping from the floor and hooking the pass while in the air. The player takes off on the left foot when passing with the right hand. Landing with a broad base, a player is ready to move in any direction. Handling the body is as important as handling the ball. Quick stopping practice helps to attain good body balance. This is the stride stop. It is made with the knees and hips fully bent into a crouch to keep the body balanced. The rear turn, or reverse pivot, is useful when coming up to a defensive man in order to protect the ball or to pass back to another player. After the player has turned, the ball is held fairly close to the body to prevent losing it. A front turn, or front pivot, can also be used to carry a player away from a defensive threat. He stops in a low crouch, makes a crossover, and steps away from the defensive man. A well-executed change of direction will sometimes lose the defensive man or free the player for a shot or a pass. The player pushes off on the foot opposite to the direction he is moving. A change of pace is used to lose the defensive man when dribbling. Dribbling slowly, the player pauses just long enough to deceive the defensive man. 
This action is completed with a drive to the basket. A change of direction while dribbling may also lose the defensive man. The player fakes with his head and shoulders. The player dribbles with the outside hand, keeping his body between the ball and the defensive man. When receiving a pass, the player can use a head and shoulder fake to draw the defensive man to one side. Then the dribble is started in the opposite direction. When guarding a man in position to shoot, the defensive man has one foot forward, one hand moving above the head, and the other hand moving at his side. He's close enough to the offensive man to keep him from shooting, but still in position to move quickly to prevent him from going around. If he moves closer to the offensive man, the defensive man does not cross step, but slides either forward, backward, or to either side, keeping his knees bent and his body close to the floor. The defensive man should at all times be ready to force the offensive man into doing something with the ball. When the ball is passed, the first move of the defensive man is to release a step or back away from the passer into a basketball stance, knees bent and both hands extended. When a shot is taken, it's important for the defensive player to screen out his opponent. This is done by use of a pivot. Screening out prevents the offensive man from getting a rebound. On a rebound, the defensive man jumps as high as possible to get the ball. Scoring in basketball is done by field goals and free throws. Let's look first at the jump shot. The player is in a well-balanced position with feet spread comfortably. With the knees flexed, the arms bring the ball up to shooting position. The right hand is under the ball as it's released toward the basket. The jump shot is one of the most important offensive maneuvers in basketball. In the hook shot, the player starts with his back to the basket. The arm is extended as the ball is released. With a follow through of the wrist, the ball is hooked toward the basket. The hook shot must be developed with both the left and right hands. When shooting for the basket in many fast plays, the ball is released with one hand. The player dribbles in from the side of the basket. In order to keep his body between the defensive man and the ball, the player shoots with his outside hand. When the play carries the man very close to the basket, he crosses over and lays the ball back up on the backboard with the opposite hand. Coming from the left, the player dribbles with his left hand, crosses over, and when almost directly under the basket, 
jumps up and lays the ball on the backboard with his right hand. A reverse layup can be executed when the player finds himself too far under the basket. On a fast break, a player can drive straight down the middle and lay the ball up. Free throws demand much practice. The two-handed free throw may either be executed underhand or overhand. The free throw shooter takes his position with both feet at the line or with one foot slightly back, whichever is most comfortable. He brings the ball down as he bends his knees, then swings it easily upward and outward. The ball is released face high with a full follow through. The one-handed free throw requires that the ball be placed in the most comfortable position for the individual player. Here, the ball rests on the fingers of the left hand. The right hand is on the side, with the right wrist flexed back slightly. The arm and wrist action of free throw shooting is again determined by the individual. The ability to score regularly from the free throw line wins many ball games. Learning these fundamental skills, such as shooting, dribbling, passing, body handling, and defensive play, will help make winning basketball teams. Practice to attain these skills will develop fine basketball players. <laughs>